Greetings, it's Christine. Today we're back with a new video. I hope that you guys had a re really, really great holiday and a good new year. <laughs> so we're gonna start 2022 with a bang. We ended 2021 with a bang too because um, she doesn't exist released a new noise album ep i will put that link in the description box so i was quite happy with that one it was quite interesting and i am working on my third ep which is quite interesting it is more on the feminist side of things it is my um, anger and issues that I have uh, experienced, so that album will be quite special. The first song is already done, which is about harassment. So that is uh, quite uh, important and I hope that people listen to that album when that is ready. <laughs> Last time we did the this and that uh, challenge with a twist that I picked between different golf bands. Today we're gonna do the same but we're gonna do industrial instead of trad golf. I have my box with all the bands that I had chosen for this challenge. I have not put my own band inside here, but I have um, put some of my friends. <laughs> and those who really follow me know who I'm talking about. <laughs> some of my friends are over here in this list. And there are around 112. I am wearing a skinny puppy t-shirt. Which is quite fitting for this video. And the bands here are not just noise bands but agrotech too. And then we have some future pop and maybe more of the synthy side. More on the techno side and... We also have uh, pioneers <laughs> and of course uh, industrial rock and so on. So it's not just one genre, even if I could have put more. I have many um, compilations with different industrial bands. I haven't put the lesser known ones in here. Maybe few, but not that many. And um, I use these compilations and my YouTube liked list, which is hidden. I don't share that. It's quite, quite personal. And I also use um, my Bandcamp purchase and wish list. So there's quite many places that the sources where I uh, kind of picked the bands so that's uh, that and we shall begin I have spoken for too long and this video will be long and I hope that you watch it all okay let's begin the challenge I will pick two Nightmare City versus KMFDM. <laughs> this one is easy. I am not the biggest fan of KMFDM. I like one album, but that's it. So it's going to be Nightmare City. They have a song that I really like. I, I think it's Are You Ready to Die? I'm not completely certain but I used to listen to the song when I was around 17 18 years old so yeah 
when I was really into Agrotech, then that was one of the bands I really liked. So the next two bands are Blush Response and Frontline Assembly. This one is also quite easy. I love Frontline Assembly, but I'm not gonna pick that. I'm gonna choose Blush Response. <laughs> Uh, I have made a video where I talk about my favorite industrial artist and Plush Response is there. And I also have a band t-shirt and I follow his releases when they are released. And I am quite inspired by him on a music level. He's really cool in my opinion. So that one was quite easy. <laughs> I was so glad that I didn't pick Plush Response with uh, another band that I really like. It is 13 Monkey and Front 242. <laughs> this one is also quite easy. I am uh, not that heavy into EBM, so it's gonna be 13 Monkey, which is a noise band, and I also love 13 Monkey a lot. I have a band t shirt. They follow me on Instagram and they inspire me to make noise. So <laughs> I have few of their songs on repeat constantly. So if there's a band that really makes me dance, it is Working Monkey. So <laughs> I love that band. Suicide Community, Suicide Commando with. X Fusion and noise effects. X Fusion, I really love X Fusion. Um, since so they're they are like noise effects and X Fusion, X Fusion are <laughs> the same artist but with different kind of sounds. So this will be a three versus thing. So I will say that I like X Fusion the most, and then I will say Suicide Commando, and then noise effects. I am not that big on noise effects but I do like several songs which are quite good to use when you want a um, point cross. I will not tell the experience where I had to use that song to make somebody understand the situation but it was a necessary thing for me to do. The next one. Okay next one <laughs> we have to continue. Die Crips versus State of Union. I'm gonna pick the band who is such a earworm, so disgustingly catchy, which is State of the Union. It's one of my favorite future pop bands. <sighs> like, summer 2018, I had Radio Man. Constantly on repeat. That tells it. Like, it was the song of the year for me, Radio Man, State of Union. I have been avoiding the other albums until this year because the songs are such an earworm and I get so addicted to it and I think my current addiction is Time Runner and Black City Lights, Romancing Us, Romancing the Stone. I think was it Romancing a Stone? Yeah, such an addictive. Okay, next one. Code sixty four and Massive Ego. Code sixty four, obviously. Code 64. Oh, so beautiful band. If I like both versions of Code 64, I think that's enough to tell. I really love that band. <laughs> okay, enough. Um, Chemlab with 
C Lecture. This is easy, it is Chemlab, one of my favorite industrial rock bands. The only industrial rock band that I like. Chemlab is so good. We have in strict confidence with collapse. Collapse! Such a great noise, but they are a little bit more catchy than most harsh noise. They have these very strong vocals. Really, really strong vocals. I have their band t shirt. Such a good band from Australia. I really recommend. I think it was Mechanical Christ. Yeah. Really good. Then we have Nurse with Wound and Leather Strip. Um, I'm gonna say Nurse with Wound. I really like this band. They have quite an interesting discography. Next one is um, Ashbury Heights and Elegant Machinery. I'm gonna say Ashbury Heights. I do like Elegant Machinery. They were quite a band that I used to love when I was 16. But I like Ashbury Heights a little bit more. Their discography is quite interesting. It is uh, Tragic Impulse and Orange Sector. This is a difficult one. I'm gonna say Tragic Impulse. I saw them live uh, on Twitch. I think it was last year and I was quite impressed and it caused me to buy their discography. <laughs> Even if Orange Sector is so good. I The next one are Reaper versus Synapscape. I'm gonna say Reaper. I am not that familiar with Synapscape, but at the same time, I have few songs in my liked playlist. <laughs> But I confess that I listen more to Reaper. It's gonna be FGFC 820 versus Solitary Experiments. I'm gonna say Solitary Experiments because they are such an addictive future pop kind of genre or band. <laughs> They make earworms, so uh, even if I did, do like the other band too. Dropping Crystal versus Assemblage 23. I'm gonna say Dropping Crystal. They are quite important in the in beginning of industrial so I do like assembly 23 a lot too but sorry next is configsys versus informatic this one is easy it's gonna be configsys informatic has few songs that I like but not that many <sighs> yeah, that's how it is. Race and Death versus Terror Fuck. I'm gonna pick Race and Death Trivia. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly, but they are like one of my favorite dark ambient bands. When I made a few dark ambient tracks, I had them in reference, so I really like that band. Of course, I think I am going to make 
more ambient now that I have an audio interface so I can sing into the doll and like make use my head voice and it will sound really haunting with a little bit of reverb add to it or maybe a delay or something like that that would be so cool and the next one is Terminal Sect versus Cypher Dune. Terminal Sect, I only like one song by Cypher Dune and yeah, it is an earworm. It is that one addictive song, the rest, nah. So I'm not gonna pick that one for that one song. I could do that, but for those two bands, not gonna happen. We have Lasse Marhug versus Terror. It's gonna be Lasse Marhug. Marhug. He is Northern Norwegian. He makes noise, and I find that quite cool that there is another Northern Norwegian that makes noise and is also unknown in the harsh noise scene. So. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's very cool. I uh, follow him on Instagram and on Bandcamp, so when he releases something new there, I will see it. <laughs> okay, we have the Clock DVA versus Alien Vampires. Uh, difficult one. <sighs> I'm gonna say Alien Vampires because they sound great and I really like their discography. Even if I like Clock DVA too, it's so difficult. So that one that was really difficult. <sighs> okay, the next one is No Longer Human versus Fixated. No Longer Human. I have seen Fixated live. He is. He's a cool guy, but I like No Longer Human a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that one was quite easy. Um, We have Dead Tune X versus Empathy Test. Dead Tune X, I have a few of their songs in my liked list. But I'm gonna pick Empathy Test. I have most of their discography. They're more on the synth side. So, Empathy Test. I actually have a bag that was bought through Gothic Cat. With, it said M, M Pussy Test. <laughs> I uh, really like that one. Adorable. <clears throat> then we have How Job versus Micrometry. No! <laughs> Rick, I hope if you see this that you will understand that I will pick How Job. I was hoping that. Um, I didn't pick you with a band that I really, really love. <laughs> but I'm certain that you would understand this choice of mine. I'm really sorry. It's gonna be how jump. <laughs> oh, I'm certain he will understand. Maybe he would even choose that himself. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm um, sorry, Rick, but <laughs> the next one is Pride and Fall versus Nullgrad. I'm gonna pick Pride and Fall because they meant a lot to me as a teenager. I used to listen to them a lot, and yeah, they're also Norwegian, so <laughs> it's quite interesting that. I found Norwegian music back then too. We have Cyber Axis versus Co Fender. Uh, Co Fender is more on the harsh noise side, but I'm gonna pick Cyber Axis this time. The next one is Pig Face versus 
goth sickles. I'm gonna pick goth sickles because they're so funny. <laughs> I had such a laugh when I discovered what kind of music they produce. It was hilarious. I think the industrial scene needs more laughs, but that's just me. Okay, enough. We have Diagenic Origin versus Project Pitchfork. Project Pitchfork. I don't think that needs an explanation. <laughs> that doesn't need an explanation. Okay, the next one is Hypnoskull and Mellotron. It's gonna be Hypnoskull. Such a good quality noise music. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be Shiver and End User. This one is easy. It's gonna be Shiver. Shiver. I had a signature of Pete, and I think Ben was the second guy. <laughs> so yeah, I cannot wait one day to see them perform live, <laughs> and I'm most likely gonna have a band t-shirt on. Okay, the next one is um, Culture Culture and Incubate. I'm gonna pick Incubate. Even if it might be a little bit cringy of me to pick that band over a um, future pop like kind of band, but I like that band a little bit more. Hmm. The next one is Atom Zero versus C D B S N. I'm gonna pick Atom Zero. I uh, have uh, their discography on my bank account list. And yeah, I like that a little bit more. They have so great remixes. The next one is. Uh, I cannot pronounce this. Manat Veil versus Case Form. Easy, easy, easy. Case Form, the Case Form also inspires me when it comes to noise. <sighs> Such a Talented artist. Okay, next one is um, Rotterdam versus Mind in a Box. I'm gonna pick Mind in a Box. I'm sure Rotterdam is really great <laughs> too, but I like Mind in a Box a little bit more. Next one is uh, Zombie Girl vs. Gridlock. I actually have a Zombie Girl album, like physical album, but I'm gonna pick Gridlock a little bit more because I like the music a little bit more. Okay, I picked Grendel and Nitzrep. I'm gonna pick Grendel a little bit, <laughs> even if I'm not that big on the US releases but I like that a little bit more than Nitzarab. I don't really listen to Nitzarab but a few songs maybe but and the next one is Mono no Aver and Die Proud. I'm gonna pick Die Proud. Uh, I uh, really like the discography of Die Proud. Even if I do like Mono Nova, Mono Nova is uh, 
quite a talented noise band on their hands. <laughs> so, such a good, good noise. If you are gonna try checking out noise music, I think Monono Aware is one of the bands that you should check out. That one was actually a little bit difficult because I actually like both. The next is Waste versus Wolfheim. Waste, Waste, Waste. That one I don't think I need to explain that much, but it has to do with me listening to lots of Waste when I was younger. <laughs> Like a 17 year old. Next is Architect versus Merciful. <sighs> okay, calm down, Christine. I'm gonna pick Architect. Like, Merciful is very talented, Paul Stimon is such a great album. Like, that's good quality noise. Uh, good quality, harsh noise. <sighs> so. <sighs> Next one is Miss Suicide versus Frozen Plasma. <laughs> this one is so easy, it's gonna be Miss Suicide. I had Miss Suicide a lot on repeat this year. I wouldn't have found this band if it wasn't for Rick. He was featured in uh, one of the albums of Miss Suicide. I ordered a physical copy and I asked my copy to be signed. Like, I really wanted to have the album, the first physical album with Rick's feature, Micrometric. So I ordered one and I did not regret that because the music of Miss Suicide, the other songs that he didn't feature in <laughs> were so good. So um such a good band. Thanks Rick for recommending me that and thanks for featuring. <laughs> I didn't I would never known that band if if, if it wasn't for you. <laughs> The next one is um, Bella Earthball versus Skinny Puppy. Skinny Puppy! Obviously! Skinny Puppy! Bella Earthball had no chance. Amy aimed versus Tape Firm. Both are more on the noise side, but I'm gonna pick Tapeworm. I watched a live on Twitch with Tapeworm and I was so impressed. And the day after, I went to Bandcamp and purchased the disc, or not fully discography, but a few albums. The albums that I really liked. The next one is Zero Monster vs. Yura Yura. I'm gonna pick um, Yura Yura. The next one are Vialurub. I. Vialurub. This is. I. This is a Polish pan. I cannot pronounce this name. Cybercorp. Ah, uh, this is difficult noise band, and this is more on Agritech. I'm gonna pick Cybercore. I like them. <laughs> Bio Punk Lab is my favorite song, and it's quite <laughs> a nasty song. Human being a parasite, which is partly true. Next one is um, Covenant versus Fatherhead. <sighs> I'm gonna pick Covenant. Okay, next one is uh, Winter Cult versus 
Maduro. Difficult. It has come to this. I'm gonna pick Winter Calton. Okay, next one, please. I want to move on. Colony of Five versus Husiku. Who I don't know if I pronounce it Husiku, if I pronounce it correctly. I'm gonna pick Colony of Five because of Plastic World. Mm. Such a great agrotech. They make good quality agrotech, but I'm gonna pick. Colony 5. Plastic World is so addicting. <clears throat> we have Division versus Haldrum. No, why? 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 <sighs> okay, I'm gonna pick Division. I do like more noisy kind of music that Haldrum makes, but it's gonna be the vision. We are soon on the end. Okay, the next one is X Divide versus Syntec. I am gonna pick Syntec a little bit more. I have one song that I really like by X Divide. But that's about that. <laughs> and I do have the album because of this one particular song. The other songs are meh. But okay. But I like the discography of Syntec a little bit more. Then there is Gold Medal versus Sindiana. I'm gonna pick Sindiana. I don't think I need to explain that one. Then there is SPK versus Sid. This one. I. Sid. I cannot pronounce it. Um, this is actually quite easy. It's gonna be SPK. <sighs> that one. Yeah. We have to move on. <laughs> It is um, Diorama versus Unit 187. I'm gonna pick Diorama. I really, really like Diorama. Sad but true. Chill, child of Entertainment. Wait for me. I think I'm not completely certain if that was the song. I'm not that into the modern diorama, I like the old one a little bit more, but... Okay, we have Chrome vs. Toy. Two future pop bands. <laughs> I'm gonna pick Chrome. I think people will understand that. I have seen Chrome live, they sound great. Then next is Converter versus Orphic. Orphic. I cannot pronounce it. This band. <sighs> Two great bands. I'm gonna let Chance pick this. It's a um, converter. Okay, converted it is. Okay. 
Okay, next is um, Asylum versus 1979. 1979, I think they are under hands. I'm gonna pick Asylum a little bit more. They, I do listen more to Asylum than 1979. <laughs> there are only four bands left. We have Aira and XRX. I'm gonna pick XRX. I like that a little bit more, but Aira, Aira is quite good too. So the final bands are. Dun 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 drum roll. Monolith versus I Aoi. <laughs> I cannot pronounce this pan. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I'm gonna choose Monolith. Even if I do like the remixes a lot of that other band. And I have seen them perform live on Twitch. But I'm still gonna choose Monolith because I like the discography of Monolith a lot. So that was that. So we are finished with uh, this or that industrial version. See you in my next video. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay, bye.